This exercise works in 10 seconds or less. Try it now. This is a very powerful Neville Goddard technique and all it requires is a pad and a pen. If you don't have a pad, a sticky note or any piece of paper will be good. But if you do this technique, you will potentially see immediate results in this very same day. That's how powerful this exercise is. So this is inspired by the teachings of Neville Goddard. And this is like a practical way that you can use this technique. If you already are familiar with working with affirmations and setting your intention for what you want to manifest, then this works perfectly with that. And if you've not done that before, this is perfect for beginners. So this exercise is something for you to do in the morning. And the reason for this is because Neville Goddard says, and any other manifesting teacher or spiritual teacher says that what we focus on, what we believe and what we feel is what we attract more experiences of. It's said that where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So you want to focus on what it is that you do want rather than what you don't want. And it's said that the morning is very important because that sets the tone of your day. Have you ever heard the expression, oh, did you get out of the wrong side of the bed that day? Well, it's actually very true. If you get up one morning and you stub your toe on your bed, or you run out of toothpaste, or something just goes wrong and then you're late to get to work, you get really frustrated and you're focusing on the negative, usually you find what happens is that because you started off your day in that negative state, there just always seems to be something going on throughout your day that's just aggravating you. And quite often they could be silly little things as well, but those silly little things is what's making it build and build and get worse and worse. This is because there's been so many things that sets the tone for our day, for our point of focus. We're pointing our focus on all the things that went wrong. So consequently, things are going to keep going wrong and we're going to keep assuming things are going to go wrong, even if we don't realise it. This is because the mind is like a computer. It's how it's programmed. And if we set the tone and set the day, we get into a rhythm in our mind and in our perspective. And then everything begins to reflect back what we're focusing on. So we want to change that. So this same result can happen if we're focusing on all the positive things. When you get out of your bed, you can be getting really thankful for a wonderful night's sleep. Today's going to be a fantastic day. Start the day off right. Anyone who's followed self-development or spiritual teachings or just motivational, you know, entrepreneurship or, or whatever, successful people always say they have a morning routine in place that sets them up for the day. And that can be going to the gym, that can be getting all the work done in the morning because these are the key times and it helps to increase energy, increase productivity. So this exercise is a way for you to program yourself for success for your day by making a positive intention for your day to get you going in the right direction to put your point of focus on the things that you want to attract so you can build momentum in the positive way rather than everything's going wrong and in the end of the day you've had a really bad day. So this is why it's really important in the morning to set up a routine for you, for your self-care time before you do anything else. So this technique and exercise is going to be something that you can begin to adopt right now. Start this every morning, continue it every morning. And the reason why you're going to see immediate results is because you're going to get in that feeling state of it. And this is going to program the energy to begin to create much more positive experiences for you. So this is the exercise we're going to begin now that's going to reprogram your focus so you can start focusing on all the positives. It will take time and consistency, but the more you do it, the more it will build. Your point of focus will be much more open and positive and productive because you are programming your energy, your intention and your belief and point of view to be that of your highest and best. And by universal law, you have to manifest those experiences. The more you do it, the more momentum, You'll begin to build and the more differences you'll begin to see. So on your sticky note piece of paper or pad with your pen, you're going to write on that bit of paper what your intention is for your day. Now you can do this tonight, ready for you to see it in the morning. What I would suggest you do is something that's worked incredibly well for me. I do my affirmations, but what I've done is I've combined my affirmations to a declaration. Now a declaration can be like a letter to the universe. It could be a statement, imagine a scroll and something that you declare. And you are gonna declare this for your life and for what you want to manifest. So I would have a think about what you want your life to be. What is it that you want to manifest? What's currently going wrong in your life and you want to correct it? Or what are the things you want to focus on and bring to your life? And then write it down. 
on your bit of paper, write down what your dream life is. What is your most optimum? What are you doing? What is your most optimum life experience? Then write it down on your piece of paper. For example, you can say, my life is always fulfilling and abundant. I am so happy, healthy and well. My relationships are so wonderful. I've got the most loving partner. Abundance is flowing to me every single day. I start today with excitement and appreciation for the wonderful experiences that are coming to me. Now that's an example, but tailor it to what you specifically want and then have that saved. Ideally, you can either laminate it or type it up and print it because you want to read this every day. You will begin to put yourself in that feeling place of how your ideal life is. And consequently, you're going to shift your energy, your belief system, your feeling state, your energy and vibration to attract those experiences. Now, you can do this two ways. You can do it how I'm saying here, where you write out what your ideal life is and you repeat this and affirm this to yourself. And the more that you can affirm this to yourself, particularly the first thing in the morning, and even more particularly looking at yourself in the mirror, and then immediately you can begin to see changes, even if it's on a very subtle level. But certain things without you, throughout your life will begin to move and fall into place to make that a reality. Now, the other thing that you can do is that you, if you didn't want to do a declaration, you can just do it day by day. So for example, you would write the word today, dot, 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 and then you would put in what you want to experience today, what it is that you want to focus on. So maybe let's say, for example, you know that the following day you've got a very, very busy day at work and you want to make sure that you can concentrate and get a lot of stuff done and you're worried that you won't be able to focus or have the energy to do so. So the night before you could write today, I am so focused, so mentally sharp and I'm so productive that all of my work is getting done without me even realising it. That's just an example. But you can put in what it is day by day what you want to focus on. If it's something to do with a relationship, today I'm going to find the most loving partner. Or today I'm going to have a wonderful time with my friends. Or today I'm going to make an effort to feel much more abundant and get more money and get more satisfaction in my career. It can be anything that you want. So there's two ways that you can do this. But the point is, is that every morning you write down and read and declare. It is a type of affirmation but you declare and program what you want your day and point of focus to be focused on. You know, don't start the day falling out of bed, stumping your toe or getting really in a bad mood and focusing on everything that's wrong. Start focusing on your day whilst you're waking up to be the positive day that you want for whatever experience that you want. And this will, especially over time, and the more you do this will begin to shape how your day will go because just the same, if you were focused on things that were going wrong and things keep going wrong, the reverse can happen. You keep focusing on the things that are going right, more things are gonna go right. Now that isn't to say that there won't be challenges throughout a day and throughout life, but if you think about it, if you're building up a reservoir of positive feelings, which by nature is going to make you a lot more resilient and have more resistance to difficult situations, and if they do come up, you're going to be able to cope with them much better. You will be less reactive and you will also be less inclined to make certain knee-jerk decisions that you may have done before if you had a lot of built up of stress that was building from your morning. If you're really stressed, if something happens in the afternoon or the evening and it makes you react a certain way, influenced by all the stress that was built up in the morning, if you didn't have that, You've got none of that to influence your decision right now. So this is something that you can adopt and potentially see results straight away. Even if you don't notice it straight away, things will be changing behind the scenes because you are changing your point of attraction and your energy. By the fact that you are focusing on what is positive, you are focusing on the end result of your wishes fulfilled, like the teachings of the Law of Assumption says, and you are literally mapping out and shaping how your day will go. And whatever experiences do come up, as I said, there may still be challenges, but you are in a much better position to deal with them and equip yourself with so much resistance that anything that goes on, you are in a much more aligned place to make the right decision for that particular experience. Having your declaration or your sticky note with your intention in your room or in your office or in the bathroom, somewhere where you can easily see it and be reminded of it, and there you can read it to yourself aloud, preferably every morning. This works much more powerfully if you can look in, in the mirror at your own reflection when doing this. 
This is called mirror work, and it's something that's very powerful and often taught and spoken about when working with affirmations. There's something very powerful about looking into your own eyes when saying an affirmation. It empowers you even more, and it makes the affirmations literally double the power. It will make them happen quicker, it will make them happen much more effectively. You are also programming your mind much more effectively because when we look at things with our eyes, that's how we are taking information in and that is what is influencing and what has influenced the way we shape our beliefs. Our beliefs determine our feeling state and our feeling state determines our point of attraction. So it's very important to look at what our current beliefs are to know if we are manifesting experiences that are right for us or not. And these beliefs come from the environment around us, whether that's what someone's verbally told us, what we've witnessed somebody do, or what energies or feelings we've picked up from behaviors of others. So then you can imagine how powerful and effective it would be to look at your own reflection, and with your eyes, you are watching yourself this time, telling yourself information. So you are now actually programming these beliefs because your eyes are watching information come to you, but it's not from somebody else, it's from you with your intention. So you are programming your mind and yourself for what it is that you do want to give yourself more self-improvement, improve your self-concept, and give you every reason to feel wonderfully abundant and aligned with your truest self. So every morning you get up, you find your declaration. If you're going to use a declaration, take your bit of paper, stand up straight if you can, or sit up straight, look at yourself in the mirror, or if you're not comfortable looking in the mirror yet, that's fine. Some people need some practice to get used to looking at their own reflection, reflection rather, and saying nice things to each other. But you can stand up, sit down, take your declaration, read it out with full passion, and really begin to feel it the more you say it and make that your main focus. Remember your intention. It, that's, the, that's the root of your intention for your day. No matter what happens, that is the root. But let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any technique like this before and what it is that you want to focus on. Have, do you prefer to use your affirmations in the morning? Have you found any great results from that? Or do you like doing the affirmation declaration? or sticky notes, they're quite popular. But I hope this video was very helpful for everyone. And if this video did resonate for you, please do consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It does help support me and the channel and helps to push this video out to more people where they can get the wonderful benefits from this as well. But wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon and evening, and I will see you in the next video. Love and light.